legends, Jimmy from Core Off-Road. We're here this afternoon to show you one awesome build. But before we get to it, we've got something else to show you. We've been a bit slack on YouTube lately with producing videos, and it's because we've been absolutely flat out. You'll see we're standing in our brand new showroom. We're expanding the business and expanding our workshop nearly three times bigger than what we had previously so that we can get more builds out to you guys. So where we are today, we're standing in our new showroom, over 300 square meters so we can have vehicles and canopies along with a whole range of accessories decked out so you guys can walk in and say hello. So now, with all the formalities and the jargon out of the way, it's time to get into the good bit. Behind me is a brand new 79 series single cab, decked out with one of our GTU canopies and nearly every accessory under the sun. One of the big things that we talk about with customers all the time is turnkey. Now, for you guys at home, turnkey to us is a brand new vehicle that we get absolutely bog stock and we deck it out. Now we do absolutely everything. Now if there is a portion, like sound system for example, that Core Off-Road don't do ourselves, we manage the process and send it to one of, either one of our vendors or if you have a specific vendor that you want to use and we manage and take care of the process for you. Vehicles like this 79 behind me, we're shipping Australia wide. So just if you're not in WA, doesn't mean that you can't get yourself a Core Off-Road vehicle. Now the sales team, they look after the whole process. Everything is done via email, phone chats, video, everything is taken care of and we either ship the vehicle straight to you or fly over, pick your car up, do handover with us and spend a few weeks traveling around WA before you head back home. So now let's get stuck into it. We'll show you some of the good bits and new products on this 79 series. So one of the new features in the Phoenix Ranger canopies is the Dometic 140 litre upright fridge. Now, the extra refrigeration is definitely required, but it's only available in certain models. Now, 79 series and basically any US truck. So some of the Aussie market vehicles like D-Max, Hilux, Ford Ranger, due to the height of the canopy, there's not enough room to squeeze the 140 litre fridge in. But for you 79 owners and US Ram, F-Truck, everything like that, there's definitely enough room and it's now an option that you can choose with us. So this customer's chosen our GTU canopy. To be honest, I love it. I can't wait till mine's finished. I've really missed having a canopy and mine's currently in production. Storage with the GTU, the big thing that customers notice or customers comment about our GTU model is how much storage there is whether it be in the pantry or in the drawers. Now this is a single cab canopy, so the actual canopy length is two meters and 50 long with the short deck, and then we'll get to that shortly. Lithium batteries, Enerdrive BTEC, there's a 200 upgrade, so 200 amp hours in this one. Now, one of the big things with our GTU model, there's a hell of a lot of equipment and electronics that go into one of these canopies. So getting access to it, we basically made a, a service compartment in the back of the canopy, which is very easy to access. So if for some reason you needed to get to your battery or your electrical system, take the drawers out and everything can be accessed quickly and easily. So there's basically a 400 mil void in behind there so that you can get to the battery and the bits and pieces. Everything else is accessible, but every GTU model has that storage compartment. Standard features on the GTU, so there's top degree water counter uh, along with the Fusion uh, BB100, so the sound system. There's speakers up in the doors that are mounted in the doors. Standard feature with all of our canopies, so the adjustable locking rod plates. So it, as your rubber seal starts to bed in, you can actually loosen off the two bolts 
move that plate forward or back to either apply more or less pressure on your canopy door seals. We might head around to the other side of the vehicle now and we'll show you one of our other new products. This side on the GTU is pretty standard. Um, the customer has gone with the Dometic 30 litre draw fridge as an upgrade. Hot water system and on our GTU we obviously get the drawers on this side. One thing that we've been wanting to sort out is camp tables. Now camp tables can be sometimes a bit of a nightmare depending on what kind of camp table you have to try and store, they'll move around. So up the top here is our new camp table storage. It's quite a simple system. Basically there's a housing or a holder, a bracket, it's all made out of plastic that your camp table will slide into. And there's two straps. Quickly and easily going over corrugated roads, your camp tables are up, out of the way, and locked in place, they're not going to go anywhere. This customer's also added on the shower tent bracket. Now we get questions from customers all the time, why do I need the shower tent bracket? Now, <laughs> it's one of them things, as you can see behind me, we've got the 270 awning set up, the shower tent out, both canopy doors open, and you can still get to everything. Having that shower tent bracket, on this vehicle for example, if we didn't have the shower tent bracket, the only place that we could probably mount it would be off the roof rack. Now, if you wanted to get into the vehicle's door or anything like that, the shower tent, while ever it's deployed, is gonna stop you from doing that. So the shower tent bracket's quite simple. Pull the pin out and open it up. Now, there is a V2 model coming that's been in production. There's prototypes finished, and I think the first order is actually starting to move through now. So keep an eye on our social media, uh, both Instagram and Facebook and TikTok, and there'll be more information about our new shower tent brackets. So, rear ladders. Now, just like your old man or your grandfather used to say, I want to say, son, oils ain't oils. Ladders aren't ladders. Now, we have questions all the time from customers saying, I love the GTU canopy and I love the liverboard idea, but I don't want a rooftop tent because I hate the ladder. Now, we hear that all the time with customers, especially in the wiser generation, that if they need to go to the toilet in the middle of the night, they're concerned about climbing down your standard little 30 mil rung ladder. One of the biggest things with ladders on vehicles is that they're almost vertical. Now, even our previous model ladder did have a 15 degree angle at the bottom section, but it was very close to a vertical at the top. Now, what that means is that as you start to climb that ladder, you feel like you're gonna fall backwards. So much like even on a step ladder, for example, the angle of a step ladder is 15 degrees. So that as you start to climb it, you feel like you're gonna go forwards and not backwards. When you start to feel like you're going backwards, that's when it becomes unnerving and you hate to climb up them. So we gave it to our engineers between myself and the team at Core Off-Road. We come up with an absolute cracker of an idea. The new ladder has a magnetic section which holds it in place at the bottom and there's a moment arm that goes down and locks in much like you would have on a step ladder. The top section with our indexing pins like our previous ladder and it folds down. Now, what we did, we increased the width of the treads so there was more than enough room to have two feet. We also increased the depth of the treads and we kept the angle at that 15 degrees straight down. Now, what it means is when you're going up the ladder, you feel like you want to lean forwards and not backwards. It makes a hell of a difference. So this customer, because they've got a rear opening tent they've got the 270 awning amendment which basically gives you a half moon zipper in your rooftop tent now there's a couple of things that we needed to check off when looking at the design of the new ladder one of them was lighting so if you did climb out of your tent in the middle of the night to go to the toilet you need some type of lighting now we've answered that with led strip lighting in the actual top section of the ladder, which is an option that you can add on. 
it's more than enough light to light up the stair treads as you're getting out in the middle of the night and it's activated on the side. Now we also have an option for rear work lights. There's two of them, one up in the top and there's another one underneath on the bottom tread. So one last thing that we needed to tick off. When you do get to the top of a ladder, much like you would a six foot step ladder at home, when you get to the fourth, fifth or sixth step, there's nothing to hang on to. And it's much the same on a vehicle. So what we did, we answered that with a flip up handle. Now it's 580 mil long. The handle is easily activated, goes up and drops in place. So it means as you're starting to go up, when you get to the top, you've actually got something to hang on to as you're climbing into your rooftop tent. Makes a hell of a difference. It gives you that little bit of safe feeling that you're not standing six foot off the ground and hanging on to nothing. The rooftop tents, there's not much really solid to hang on to on them. So it is an option. We have a left and a right, so you can have two handles, no handles or one handle, it's up to you. That's it, Core Off Roads, new Phoenix Series ladder. Rebel, I don't listen and go against the system for good riddance. I put the work in over time and go the distance. The champ's here, the king's back, the throne's mine. You gotta give me that. I'm invincible, my story is incredible. The headline reads, you'll never break me. No, I am invincible. So, legends, there's a whole swag of accessories that went into this build that we haven't touched on. Things like a Manta exhaust, clear views, compact series mirrors. Bull bars, lighting, roof racks, absolutely everything, even Telstra cell fire and a sat phone. So if you guys are looking to build one hell of a touring vehicle, make sure you jump on the phone, give the team in sales a call to work out what you're gonna do for your next build. So with us being slack, you, all right, you got the first bit. I forgot what I was gonna say. Um, <laughs> um, even a sat phone. <laughs> I got the first bit. CRX 140. <laughs> You'll have to do that bit again. Yeah, so as I said, we've... <laughs> Cut there. Uh... <laughs> As I said, we've been a bit slack lately with our YouTube videos and we haven't been putting out a lot of content. It's been keeping us busy this new place, I can tell you that much. So legends, make sure you stay tuned. Hit the bell notification, subscribe and be a legend. Give us a like or a comment to stay in tune with all of Core Off-Road's latest videos. Now I can tell you there's plenty more to come with this new facility that we're gonna be showing you. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.